morning. Welcome back to school. So it's the night before school and um, I'm down in the prep chapel and I just wanted to record this message to you as I start to this new experience of ours. It's really sad not to see you here and not to have you with me. Uh, but that's one of those things. I hope that you had a wonderful Easter and I hope you remembered over Easter that the reason for Easter is remembering the sacrifice that Jesus made for us and the fact that he died on the cross for us. So on Friday he was crucified and on Sunday he rose from the dead. Uh, and hallelujah, Jesus is alive. So never in my lifetime have I started a term where everyone hasn't been here. And, uh, and that's really sad for me. You know, when I was at school, I was at school in Johannesburg, uh, some of you will know that, and there was something that happened to us when I was at school that went down in memory. And the thing that happened was that it snowed. That's right, it snowed in Johannesburg, uh, which was unheard of back in those days. Um, and what happened was that, in fact, my, my folks, they came and they, they grabbed me from school they, they, and, and we went off for the afternoon and we went to play in the snow. We built a snowman and there was hilarity and joy and I remembered that. To this day, I can remember that. Lots and lots of years later, because that was a long time ago. And it strikes me that this time that you're spending away from school, you'll remember this for the rest of your life. The challenge, I guess, is what are you going to remember about this time? Are you going to remember the hard work that you did at home? Are you going to remember the relationship you built with your brothers and sisters? or with your mom and dad or your grandparents, if you're lucky enough to live with them. What are you going to remember from this time when you're old? So that's the challenge to you. I suppose it's ironic that the verse we chose to be our passage for this, that the verse we chose for this year was the theme of unity. Psalm 133 verse 1, and I'm going to read it out of this Bible. This incidentally is the Bible that they gave me at school. When I left school, they gave me this Bible um, and I still carry it. It's very special to me. And we're going to go to Psalms and we're going to go to Psalms 133 and verse 1. And the scripture that we chose to be our central scripture for this year is this. Psalm 133 verse 1 and it says, Oh how good and pleasant it is when brothers are together in unity. And I think that's kind of ironic because we're not really together here. But that doesn't mean we can't be together there. And just because you're not here doesn't mean we're not properly together. Just because we're not all in the chapel together doesn't mean that we're not together. So I suppose the theme for me for the next couple of weeks in any, any case is that we're together apart. We're still together. You're still a part of Treverton, as am I. We've still got things to accomplish and do. We've still got dreams to fulfill and goals to achieve. And there's no reason that you can't continue to work at those things just as you have in the past. Right. So, build good memories. Remember that you're part of us. And we'll soon be back together. We've got a song to sing. Now, this song has got some actions. So I'm going to put it up for you and you can, you can stand where you are. So stand now and there are actions to the song. If you know the actions, when you sing, do the actions together. So play this as loudly as you can and sing, it to, sing along and do the actions if you can.
right. I hope you enjoyed that song. What fun to be together like that, eh? Hey? Okay, um, we're going to pray and then I'm going to let you go off to class. So if you'll close your eyes and bow your heads, let's pray together. Loving Heavenly Father, we recognize, Lord, that you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, that you are the first and the last, that you are the author and the perfecter. We recognize, Lord, that you came down to earth, you lived as a man, that you are crucified and that you rose again, and that it's through you that we have life and life in all its fullness. We ask, Lord, that you would bless those that we can think of who are less fortunate than ourselves. We ask that you love, we ask Lord that you'd help us to love you more. And we know that we love you by obeying your commands. It says so in your scriptures. One of your commands, Lord, is that we love our neighbors as ourselves. And we ask that you'd help us to be kind to those around us, always remembering their needs ahead of our own. We ask you, Lord, that you'd help us to work hard always working to improve ourselves and improve on the gifts and talents that you've given us, trying to remember that you have predestined us and you know who, who you want us to be. And we ask that you'd help us to work towards that, Lord, and see ourselves as you see us. And Lord, we ask that you help us to be fair, to be fair to those around us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I hope you have a fabulous day. I know that there are going to be things that are frustrating or difficult. And I just ask you to persevere, to approach it like a Trevitonian would, to give your best all the time. And if you have problems or questions, ask your teacher. Or if you can't get hold of your teacher, ask, it, ask your parents to get hold of your teacher or get hold of me and we'll just try and help you out. Have a fabulous day. Thank you for joining me.